Hello everyone, welcome again to the series of solid design principles. In the earlier video, we discussed about the introduction of the solid design principle and this is part 2 where we will be discussing the single responsibility principle. So as the name suggesting that single responsibility, right? So this principle suggests that uh, whenever you are creating a class, it should have one responsibility rather than you create a, you know, multiple um, multiple features in one class so that that's wrong according to this principle whenever you're placing a uh, creating a method class or service it should have one purpose right so i will take the example of the employee class so let's say you are creating uh, you're saving an employee and you have a one class so whenever you're saving the employee you will do the code for the saving it into the database you will email to that employee and you will do the notific uh, logging purpose you will be logging to the database as well so if all that in one uh, one place in one class then it, it will be a problem so solution is single responsibility principle according to this principle your your each responsibility must be in different class so you if you are emailing an employee that should be a separate class if you are logging to the database that should be a separate class and if you are uh, uh, saving it into the database the uh, employee object that should be in the separate class so this is every software module should have one reason to change every class should be related to a single pur purpose which we already discussed and it apply uh, it can be on different level like method level class level module level and services level before we go to the imp practical implementation of this to the visual studio I'll, I'll show you some of the benefits of the single responsibility principles which will be you know useful for the code your application code and the programmer as well so first point is easier to understand so I, i'll again take the example uh, where we created you know uh, where i've explained you that we will be using the three classes email separate class uh, logging separate class and saving separate class so if that is built then the, then it is very easier to understand right the next point is easy to identify defects and fix the problems in the code so if, if you have a separate separation of the classes then you can easily identify the defects like if you if your problem is in the email you will go to the email class and then fix the problem right uh, the next is easier to extend the class so if you want to extend the logging logging class you will go to the logging class and then you you will you, you will you know extend the functionality otherwise if you have one class where everything is there then it is very hard to extend it right uh, if you're writing a test cases then obviously if you have the this single responsibility principle applies to your project and everything is separable then you can easily write uh, write the test cases for each class separately the last point is any new member if is coming in your project then he or she can easily read and understand the code because there is a separability so these are all the benefits of the single responsibility principle now we'll move to the practical uh, demo where i will show you the problem first and then the solution of it using the single responsibility principle so here is a project where we learn the single responsibility principle right now i'm having a one class employee class so as we discuss uh, first of all we, we will we will see the problem and then we will see the solution right so so let's say this employee class is doing three operations it is saving the employee and then after save it is emailing that employee with the confirmation and everything is saved uh, logged in the database right so let's say we have an interface right uh, public interface i employee right in this i employee i'll write three definitions over here method definitions one is public bool save employee it will have some parameters and will save this you know employee and then another will be for uh, public bool send email so after the employee registration is done uh, it will send the email and then third will be uh, a method which will you know save the logs right so three definitions so what we'll do is we'll implement the interface in this class right so let's say we implemented this so so you see one employee class is now dealing with three methods and three of the methods are you know have the single uh, its own responsibility so this class is not dealing with one responsibility is dealing with three responsibility it is saving it it is saving the logs as well it is sending the email as well so this this is breaking the single principle single responsibility principle 
right how will fix it and how, how what, what the single responsibility principle Brazil is saying every class must be follow you know one uh, ha must be having one reason to change and it should have only one functionality one responsibility so to fix this what we will do is from this public interface I employ we will remove these two methods right so that it should have only you know its own responsibility to save the employee right so when I'll do this uh, I need to remove the method methods from from the main class as well so this employee class is now having a employee method definition and will uh, you know will do only one responsibility for for our another you know email let's say email right we will have another class which will be public uh, class email service right and then it will have its method like public pool uh, send email right so this is uh, so what we have done is now there is a uh, there is a class for employee right which is dealing with the save employee a class with the email service which is dealing with the sending an email only right and it will have its own uh, obviously i send a service um, interface as well let me create it for you quickly public interface right so and then it will have public send email right like this and obviously it should be a separate class let me create that quickly for you guys so i'll name it as email email service right so right now this is my email service got created and this everything like interface will go there ideally they should have a separate folder in the project but that's okay uh, for a demonstration we can we can see that so this is my okay so this is my method so let's delete it over from here so you see now uh, the clear implementation of single responsibility principle is in the in the in the uh, in this employee class we are dealing with the save employee and in the email service we will be dealing with the send email only so that that's basically what single responsibility is saying that you should not creating a mess in one class as i've shown in the problem the problem was uh, you know having all the method definition in one class and there are three responsibilities but now we have separate the responsibilities email responsibility is with the email service and the employee responsibility is in the employee class and if we want to debug the employee employee service it's a different we need to debug for that class if we want to debug for the email we need to debug for this you know if there is a bug we will bug in the email we'll fix this class if their bug is in in the employee class we'll fix this class so this so this is what the um, single responsibility principle says now now the main the main uh, you know let's say this employee class right it, it will now obviously after saving it will send the email right so what we will do is uh, we will be use the email service for it right and let's say we, we create an object and then you know we'll use it over here vj dot so there will be a send email function so this will be the solution for it and we are not dealing we are not we, uh, this is email responsibility is here but we are calling it here to to send the email and that in the same way we will do the login right hope you guys uh, understand the single responsibility principle with the problem and the solution as well let me uh, comment me in case of anything and uh, the next video will be discussing the another principle the next principles thank you guys